All right, I'm going to show you how to make a stand-up clip to post on Reels and YouTube Shorts and TikTok using CapCut. So you have good quality video and also good um, captions that match up for everything. So real simple. First, you choose yes, the video you want. The... Add that. And then you're going to want to go down here to aspect ratio if it's a 916 video like this or 169 right now it's in 169 we're going to change it to 916 so that is the very first option and you'll be like oh well it's still letterboxed like that we don't want that so what you do is you click on the video down here and then you just zoom in with your fingers and to keep yourself in frame there's a few different options uh, so what I'm going to do first is zoom all the way out on the timeline. You just do that by spreading your fingers um, back and forth. And then you center yourself and then you go to the first cut. So you get to your first cut. And so I'm just about in, in frame and all that. But then when it cuts to the other angle, I'm not centered anymore. So when it cuts here, see it's going to look like it starts all the way back there, but it doesn't quite start all the way back there. So then you find exactly where it's at, you select the video, and then hit split. And then once it's split, then you can drag that over and center it. So you center that, and then you slide through. And this is a step that's much easier if you're just using a and as you can see i'm starting to get a little out of focus if you're just using one clip then it's a lot easier but you can also do zoom ins and zoom outs just by you know using sliding your fingers around so and that helps put emphasis on punch lines and keeps people paying attention uh during setups so we'll get me right here in the middle see i'm just making sure so like i start a little over here so what I'm going to do now is in this clip, try and keep myself centered there. And the way you do that is you put, you hit this diamond up here, uh, and that's going to help. So you can automatically keep yourself the focus. So wherever, and then when I start to move, I hit the diamond again. So as I start to drift to the side here, I hit the diamond again, and then that keeps me in the frame. And then I can also move it, and it automatically adds a diamond if you start moving the frame. So we'll get that there. And as you can see, it's I'm drifting a little bit, so we'll just move it back, adds another diamond. I'm not sure exactly what this tool is called, but I just call it diamond. And you can see where that is right under the corner. There's a play button and it's just to the right of that as you're looking down at your phone. So scroll through all this, make sure there's no more cuts. If there's no more cuts, uh, then we are good. I know this joke pretty well, so I'm, I can just tell by my facial expressions where I'm at in the joke, and uh, we're going to add captions next. So I keep moving it just to keep in frame, give, the, give it a little bit of uh, motion to, to keep viewers interested. So there, there's the punchline right there as I hold up the two. Uh, and that's that's about where I want to cut. So this clip's going to be about 35 seconds long. And I don't want a ton of laughs at the end because you want them to watch all the way to the end. So I imagine right when I go here and say two, that's where I want to cut it off. So let's try it. Two! <laughs> I can't hear it because I don't have headphones on. But I know well enough that that's about where I want to cut it. Alright, so I'm gonna try to get a little bit, you want a little tail of a laugh, but nothing crazy. 
one second is usually enough. So then I have all this extra stuff. I'm just going to delete that. And then they have the cap cut tag here at the end. You can just delete that because it, it doesn't help to have that on there. I have one more little diamond just to stay framed. All right. So now that I got everything clipped out that I want, I know that there's a little bit of a lead on here. So I can, uh, well, not aspect for show. Now we're going to do text. We're going to add auto caption. So you select text. And then you hit auto captions. Uh, I like to do no template and I'll add my template or I'll add my options as we go. So we generate, it doesn't take very long, especially on a 35 second clip. So I know this is the very end of another joke. I don't need that until it gets to right here. So I'm gonna take that and just peel that back a little bit so that I can start it right at the beginning of this setup. And I take that uh, other clip, that little two seconds beforehand, and I delete that out. And so then I have the captions. And I'm gonna move them up, and we're gonna check them in a minute to make sure all the words are right, but if the words are wrong, all you have to do is double click on the captions and you can fix any word that's in there. You can also Split it if you need to uh, If you want to hide a punchline now, it's going to have the same caption. So then you have to edit out What's already in there, uh, but we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to assume they nailed it and now we're going to make our uh, Little changes here first we're going to start with font. I like all caps font. I usually go with uh, Which one is it? Of course, they move everything around once I want to film a video. Uh, Resolve. Resolve is a good one. And then you go to Styles. I like just the white with the black outline. And then you want to go to Animations. And Animations, I skip right over here to Caption. And you scroll down. And I like Line by Line. Because Line by Line puts everything more centered. And when it's all more centered, why is... One, it's not select and then they'll come in with this one. So and then there, they'll come in with this one. And then they'll come in with this one. Come back. And then they'll come in with this one. 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 Options that I have in the video, and we'll go ahead and play the video. Make sure. And then they'll come in with this one. They'll be like, "Oh well, what if your mom was in a bathroom? There's a transgender woman in there, and the transgender woman still had a penis, and your mom saw the penis." Well, my mom is a 68-year-old Mormon lady. I can't think of anything funnier. So that's it. So here's one we're going to adjust. So it just says funny. The actual, it's funnier. So you go in there and you fix that. Boom. There it is. It's not funny. It's funnier. <laughs> So we're going to cut some of that out. It's uh, trimmed to the beginning of the next tag. And we'll put a little bit of less in there, but people don't want to sit and watch six seconds of laughter on their phone. So you cut that out and back out of there, up, select it, and then hit delete. And so now you'd be like, oh my right god, I went to Target and there's a lady in there and she had a wiener and now I've seen two. <laughs> the video. And then they'll come in with this all one. Right. So after you do all those things, make sure that everything's correct. Uh, you want to hit cover and then you find a spot where there is no text and you add your title. I'm going to title this one. Uh, we'll go with. My mom and trans people in bathrooms. Because you want something that's going to get people's attention. Uh, we'll go to, I like to use the yellow here. We use the font again, uh, an all caps font, just to show that we. Boom. It's just because it stands out good. I like the yellow for the titles. You can use whatever colors you'd like. 
uh, but I like Resolve and uh, for the font and when it goes to style, I like the yellow and black for my title screen. It pops, gets people's attention. All right, so I think that's all done. So you hit save there. And I think we got everything good. Make sure it all is clean and in frame there. And it is. And then uh, you can select the output here. Uh, they de default to 1080p. I like to go 4K. This is a 4K video. Uh, even if it's not a 4K video, I bump it up to 4K because I feel like they like that anyway. So it might be a bigger file, but if you're doing short videos, it should be fine. It shouldn't take up too much room. Uh, so try and keep videos as clear as po uh, possible. And then you hit the arrow and it exports and you're done. You got a video. Post that on Reels. See if you get famous. I'll do another tutorial where I show you how to do a back and forth with crowd work where you're doing the audience's um, dialogue as well. Sorry, little brain fart there. All right, that's done. Thanks for uh, checking this out. I hope it helped.